Okay, I am right here. Jessica, I've got your work up right here. And let me see. Here we are, right here. Okay, got you up. All right, let's go. Hey, man, this is phenomenal. I'm just blown away by your conceptual development here. I mean, blown away. You're like, it seems like you're like this designer that just goes like this. Okay, I'm going to go and lock myself away and pound this thing out. And you have, and and that's awesome. I, I really do. I really think it's awesome. Um, the, the 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 amount of thought and conceptual development in all the way down the line is 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 really really remarkable. Everything is very well thought out, very well spaced, and very well planned. Okay, so that starting there, let's just take a look through the presentation and see what we have. The mark itself is dimensional, geographic, and directional, and it's it's wonderful. It, it's colorful. It says your story, and it it's it's constructed. It's it's just it's really saying a lot about the Olympics themselves. Not to mention what it's saying about your host city. Visually, it's very very pleasing to look at. I think this is an interesting combination. The, the Brasov text and the type itself. I would go ahead and say, um, I, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is kind of forced a little bit. This, this typeface, I think, is a little forced. I would experiment a little bit. Um, and the reason I say that is only because, you know, boy, it's just a little difficult to read right through here. It is. It's it's just a little difficult to read. So I don't know. I'm going to let you make that decision. Toss it around and you tell me if you think it's relevant, if that's a relevant concern. If you don't think it is, stick with it. It's not anything major. It's definitely readable and it's definitely memorable. But I'm just thinking it just seems like it's a little forced. Like, okay, that portion of the, the world is going to use this type of font. Okay, so... And and that's okay. I think it's I, I think it's okay. I mean, try one or two more. I would I would try a straight sans serif, um, very very modern straight sans serif. Maybe something in the universe family. Um, think about that. I think right now that the mark itself is wonderfully um, um, developed. Um, that the size relationship relationship between the type and the mark is beautiful. However, I think the rings are a little too large. I would consider reducing the size of those rings. One of the things that's happening with the rings being so large is that the colors in the rings are now starting to compete with the colors in the mark itself. One of the things that we can do to circumvent that is to reduce the size of the rings. And I'm going to tell you, man, I would like to see you, um, two things I'd like to see. Number one, I would like to see you use the yellow from the rings in the logo. I know I've recommended not to do that in the past, but I think in this case, that yellow is not harmonious with this yellow. So I, I would definitely change that. The, uh, the same with the red and, and the blue is okay. You don't have to grab that exact blue, but I would consider adding some green in here somewhere. Um, and I think that becomes apparent down here, especially down here in some of your um, pictograms. I think the addition of green in there would really, really pull pull the thing together. Same thing with this gorgeous pattern, by the way. Um, and I think that that green is also going to look really, really super slick um, in within the logo itself, but also when it's in areas with your patterns. I think that that added green, that added contrast, and that that differentiation, that kind of unexpected little spot of green is, is really going to be something that's going to be very attractive. Think about it, consider it, try it, see if you like it. Horizontal logos look awesome. Really good job. Good foresight here. Good job. One thing I would consider here is take, let's take that Olympic ring and move Brasov down to, so that the X height is meeting kind of like pointing right across from where that arrow is. And then either reduce the size or maybe even place the, the Olympic rings over here. Um, just to keep that kind of line that you, that, that horizontal um, line that you're developing. I think the construction would be, mechanically, I think it would be a little bit easier to work with. 
Okay, uh, pictograms are just phenomenal. I, these are really, really something. Um, I, you know, I, as interesting as the ones with color are, I think that maybe the ones with the black are the way to go, only because they're so recognizable um, as the, you know, event that's taking place. Hockey looks awesome. I would beef that guy up a little bit, the hockey guy, like he is over here. All right. Other than that, I think the banners look good. This is a mistake. This bright yellow here is, I, I think it's a mistake. I think if you want to add yellow, go ahead. But I, I think that big, thick yellow lines are just really dissecting the piece and in, in a way that's not very attractive. I would reconsider that. Um, keep working on the, the, the uh, banners. Um, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so... um. Uh, ban oh, and then the banners also, I wanted to mention that this area right here is really, really almost generically clean, like an almost like hospital, like really, really sanitary. Almost too much so. Cold, basically, it's cold. Now, I get it's a winter event and everything, but, you know, I think that this could definitely be a warmer and more welcoming um, typeface there. Okay. Hockey rink looks good. Work that relationship out. I think that we're going to have some really interesting results when you when you move that over there behind the uh, to keep that maintain that that uh, horizontal line. All right. Other than that, phenomenal. Really super impressive stuff. I'm I'm so pleased at where you're at. If you have any questions, feel free to get with me. I'll be glad to clarify. All right. Great job. Thank you very much.